Good afternoon guys and welcome to Biblos. I'm doing a day trip here from Beirut. It's a glorious sunny day here in Lebanon. And uh, yeah, I just arrived. Uh, the way you get here from Beirut is a simple bus, but I had to take a taxi to the bus. Taxi was 50,000 or about two bucks. And the bus, which took about an hour, was only 20,000, which is not even a buck. And, uh, my first look of Biblos. This is the old souk area, the old market area. And uh, yeah, super cute. Man, it's sunny though. Just turn the corner there and it looks like we're in the old souk market. Cool uh, walkway here. Oh, really pretty shops. So Biblos is pretty interesting actually. Apparently it's been continuously habited, inhabited since 5000 BC. That's 7000 years. Even crazier than that, they think that the first inhabitants of here were from almost 9000 BC. So we're talking 11,000 years. Crazy. Were there even people back then? Hello, thank you. <laughs> it seems kind of early here. Most places are empty. It's uh, I think around 1 p.m. It's super cute though. Wow. I imagine this will look really cool at night with some lights on. There still doesn't seem to be too many people here, but man, these places are super cute. I think that's probably the castle. We'll end up checking it out in a bit. Knickknack souvenirs. Let's go down the rabbit hole. It's definitely pretty, but it's all just souvenirs and trinkets. It's cute. A little too cute. <laughs> We're going to try to find some authenticity here. Well, there was a failed attempt to find anything down to earth and authentic. Um, so if you want burger, pizza or sushi, that's the place for you. <laughs> but uh, right now I'm headed towards the direction of this place that's quite highly rated, but it's simply called Snack Mike. One thing that's super impressive about Biblos, but I'll have to read it for you because it's too long check this out so wikipedia says that biblos was part of numerous civilization including okay now keep count egyptian phoenician assyrian persian hellenistic roman fatimid genoese mamluk and ottoman well i guess now lebanese i don't know i lost count but damn that's impressive we have found Snack Mike. Now let's see, will we be pleasantly surprised? When my sandwich is ready, which one? This one? Same. What is it? Subway? Submarine? Chicken. Chicken submarine. Chicken submarine and yes. Snack Mike. Are yes. You, are you Mike? Yes. Me, Mike. <laughs> All right, let's give this a Give me five. Thanks. Yes. This guy is a little funny. They said the best sub in town. Mm. It's quite tasty. Definitely not pretentious. I can tell you what's in it. It's like barbecue chicken with some mayo, lettuce, tomatoes, pickles, cheese, and the whole thing's toasted. It's a good size. It's going to be pretty satisfying once I finish the second half. My man! Thank you for the sandwich. Is this my man? <laughs> how much do I, how much is the sandwich? Lebanese. Lebanese, 100. 100. 100 Lebanese. Only. Only. <laughs> Great. Three dollars, I know. The Lebanese is not doing well today. Thank you, man. This Thank you very much. <laughs> which at today's rate is about three bucks. Thank you so much. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Bye. How many times you stay here? 
just today. Just today. Yes. yes. But okay. And then look back to Beirut. Ah, Beirut. Yes. Bye. Just a few minutes from where we had the snacks. Now we're at the main attraction, probably here in Byblos, the Byblos Castle. For a 8,000 entry ticket, and uh, that's what welcomes us. Actually, on this side looks kind of cool too. Oh, they have a map. So here's a view from the corner of the castle grounds. So 8,000 now comes out to around 25 cents, which is crazy because just a few days ago, 5,000 was 25 cents. The last few days, especially, the Lebanese currency has tanked by about another 20%. I've been trading in dollars for Lebanese money little at a time. Its value has been going down, so it's a good idea to exchange a little at a time. This whole site is surrounded by, I believe, archaeological sites, Phoenician archaeological sites. Again, as I read to you guys before, there were so many different civilizations that have been through here and thousands upon thousands of years of history. Very cool. Wow, the condition of this place is also pretty incredible. You can see that I think some of this was rebuilt. I don't know how recent, but compare this to that. <laughs> cool doors. I've been to a several of these sites now in Lebanon and all of them have been so clean, free of trash, which again, I guess because they have an admission fee uh, that keeps away like people just throwing random trash, which is great to see because I can hear kids in that direction. So we'll go in this direction. Very neat. I'm always amazed by what these people built. They're super cute and attractive. What I mean is you would think it would be built more for purpose, protection, etc. But there's a lot of uh, aesthetically pleasing elements. Arches and columns. Uh, but I guess if you're going to build a castle, you know, vanity will go into it to some degree. Why not? Just came around this corner. Stairs in front of me. What we got here. Oh wow. Oh, that's dark. Oh no. Okay, abort mission. I hear kids. We'll come back when the kids have grown. Let's try this again. Oh, so much better now. Peace and quiet. It's dark. Oh, check that out. Wow, that's pretty cool. Very nice. And now peaceful with no screaming children. Oh, this is a good view. Hold on, check this out. Ta-da! Tons of ruins and actually everywhere. Oh my god. Wow, check out the view of the Mediterranean Sea. And Biblos. I thought it was loud earlier. And now there's a thousand hyper excited kids here making all sorts of noises. Hello. Hello. 
we can get out this way. <laughs> okay, I think we've made it to the top. That is not a bad view. Beautiful day. Oh my god, there's so many people here. <laughs> no morning. one here speaks English. Oh, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. But, but they know give me money. Dollar, I'm Ricky. Give me money. Wow. I'm going to give everyone money here. Form a line, everyone. I have no idea what they're saying, but here they are. The whole crowd. Very exciting. So many people. So many people. Bye. Bye bye. Bye, Habib. Bye. <laughs> oh, now it's nice and peaceful. Beautiful setting, beautiful day. And uh, that's the background. And that's Biblos. Tons of people swimming over there. Yeah. Beautiful day. This guy just came up and said, uh, that they're closing. It's only 3.15. I've been here enough. But 3.15 and it's closing? Wow. I can't get out. He's locked me in. <laughs> well, I guess I'll be staying here. It's been nice knowing you guys. I'm Christian. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna die here. They're gonna bury me here. Oh no, he's opening the door. Yay! <laughs> We're safe. Yeah. Shukran. Alan. Okay, we can get out. All right. Wow, he's not kidding. They're closing. That was a cool castle. Outwards we go. Actually, a whole crowd is coming. Maybe they've reserved it for some educational purposes or a tour. Actually, people of all ages, so I think it's a tour. Ooh, good time to leave. According to the map, if we go around this way, we'll be able to get closer to the water, and then there's an alternate way to get back to town. So yeah, let's go. Typical to what I'm finding here, Hacienda Pizzeria. It's a Spanish pizza place. Now, if that's not Lebanese, I don't know what is. But that's been the theme here. Everywhere I go, especially in the touristic sites, man, anything but Lebanese. <laughs> All right, we have water. Fishing club. Well, this is cooler than I thought. Biblos, you're doing better. That uh, touristic area is a little too touristic, but uh, this is a little better. So that's what happens when there's no entry fee. Trash! I must say though, I've seen other places, not just, I don't mean Lebanon, I mean countries. I've seen other places where the trash level is incredible. So that, uh, that was actually not so bad. But again, when you go inside the places where there's an admission fee, it's really clean. Very happy to see that. Good job, Lebanon. Ran into some familiar tourists. Oh, all three of them are here. Look at that. Dude. Yeah, good, good. Well, is it just three? Yeah. So I can join you guys? Okay. Yeah. Well, that was cool running into my tourist friends from the first place I was staying at. And uh, we got to chat a little bit. Now they're heading that way to see the Citadel, which we've already seen. And I'm headed this other way. Oh, these people are renting this boat. They have a party, tons of balloons. Big party. <laughs> Looks like there's a beach over here. Oh yeah, check it out. Cool. Families, people on little paddle boats. When we were on top of the citadel. On the other side was where there was a huge beach. 
this one seems much smaller really nice seems like mostly families this looks like it would be a really cool spot for sunset not many people here now i guess uh, i'm not even sure if they're open but it's early right now everyone's enjoying the beach later they can come up eat drink and uh yeah watch the sun go down it's mid-may now actually it's may 21st so i guess it's more than mid-may and uh it's a nice time to be in lebanon i will say things are blooming may is a good time for many countries but lebanon definitely one of them Beautiful building. How are you? Hello, hello. Hello. <laughs> oh, wow, lovely. There weren't that many people here earlier, but a huge group has just come by. I don't know how many people there are, but they're going to bring the party now. <laughs> Not that I'm complaining or anything, but because of this guy, we're that, missing. That guy over, this guy over there, the one with the hat. We're missing this sunset. <laughs> but the exciting thing might be that uh, he's gonna get a tattoo. No pressure, smile. No pressure. Well, Yanni, it is what it is. It is what it is. We'll see. For all we know, the tattoo guy's running behind. And we missed the sunset for you, nothing. You don't do a tattoo every day, like the sunset you have yeah. every... I think every his tattoo should be a sunset. Yeah. No. <laughs> the sky is beautiful colors. You can see behind me. Uh, Much livelier now. The porn actor and the YouTuber. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> his smiles making jokes. Wow, this place was empty when I came earlier. Look at it now. Billy Boy's oh, restaurant. Okay. Very, very traditional Lebanese. <laughs> it's, a, it's a place to hang out, have fun. And oh, the weather's so much better now. How far are we, Ismail, from the tattoo shop? Uh, one minute away. One minute away. We were told it was kind of a hidden place. <laughs> we found him, he's up there. But the guy looks cool. Yeah, we heard about the hobby door. Oh my God. Nice. No kidding. <laughs> nice. It's a legit Hobbit door. And there oh, yeah. Ismail just went in. Thank you. Noah. How good this is. That's crazy. Nice. Friend. Nice. Holy mackerel. Wow. How long have you been building this? Oh my god. Uh, I am a bit old. So I was thinking like something like that. So there, ladies and gentlemen, Ismail didn't chicken out, but uh, he cheated because that was a very modern tattoo tool and it didn't hurt. Found ourselves in a halabi restaurant. This is cheese rolls, um, tabbouleh, hummus. hummus. Hummus? Okay, that's a little different than we thought. Fried brain, celebrating our good evening after Biblos cheese rolls. Oh, that's good. Very unusual vlog for today, but we're ending it on a tasty note. Hope you enjoyed our adventure. Thank you. See you guys on the next one.